Uh, this project is a, a thesis project of our BDA student Arjun who actually wanted to design a rocking chair for his grandfather who had difficulty in getting up. So he made this model and this is the working rig. Uh, it's very important to make working rigs uh, with whatever available material. They don't need to look good but they, need, they should work. So after that Arjun of course graduated and went away. But the idea remained with us that this product could be very valuable for the elderly in the country and we should take it to market uh, from point of view of the Shinoi Innovation Studio here. So here the next stage my TAs come into picture. They actually worked on to create a working uh, armature to check the angles, to check the situations of how it will work. And from this working rig, uh, we went to the local carpenters who manufacture these rocking chairs. And this is the most important thing I want to mention that we need to use the domain strength. So here, when we went to the local uh, carpenters, we picked up the strengths of their rocking chair. So we picked up the angle uh, to a large extent, and we were, but we kept our design intent here. So here, for example, you have to just press the footrest, get on to the rocking chair and basically rock. And it's easy to get in which is very important for a uh, rocking chair and after it is easy to get in you also want to get up and that was the major issue which Arjun was solving which is to use the momentum of the body and get up on the uh, leg rest which is available over here and step out very easily. Uh, we took the design and we said now we have to we have to look at the aesthetics of which the student had worked. So we mapped the uh, aesthetics on this chair to see how this chair will work. So now this is now mapped with the you know domain knowledge of rocking chairs with a second manufacturer who is a little bit more mass production oriented. So here you step onto this, you get into the chair and you now, so thanks to, and then domain strength. For example, we had worked on palkis for Vaishnav Devi and these handles come in very handy, not for the people who are able, but elderly people love it when you can hold something. So now this has been made by the second level pilot production manufacturers. So now comes the interesting situation. When we showed this to Parkinson's patients and to patients who are having dementia and Alzheimer's, the, the scientists told us in the Sunita Sanghi Center for Aging at IIT Bombay that this could be a very valuable uh, chair uh, for these elderly suffering from all these diseases. So then because it actually has rhythmic motion of the brain fluid which is supposed to be very good and it is no rocket science and they knew that it is going to, uh, going to be very good. So now this has to be a product which has to be you know supplied all across the country and then we already have orders from Delhi, orders from Pune and Jaipur. So we said okay, let, then we went and collaborated with one of our aluminous companies called Form Design and said, you know, uh, Aduti uh, Srinivas Rao, we want to, you know, build this uh, product now. Again, my next level of TA started working on this. We want to take inspirations from IKEA because IKEA has this fabulous level of packaging, flat box, box structure and this is IKEA easy chair, rocking chair which they use in the living rooms. So from here we of course studied all the sort of you know ways it will go and then uh, form design helped us go to the best mass manufacturing company in Jaipur which actually built the final product which is now a box pack and can be shipped across the country. We already have requirements from Delhi from a very large organization which needs uh, around uh, five uh, uh, of these chairs for trials and uh, Professor Agni Hotri who also heads our RUTAG uh, in IIT Bombay requested us to put up a counter here so that it can also be validated of if you are using this and if you have some thousand counts every day you know what type of benefit the people are having. So this is the final uh, mass produced uh, chair and like you know you just get onto the chair like this and this is now in you know uh, perfect condition and of course you know this comes in a box pack where you uh, you know uh, be, uh, get the thing uh, flat so it can be transported uh, everywhere. The box packing is actually you know demonstrated in these uh, 3D print models here. So we uh, the actually the, the, the leg rests come out like this on both sides and you know the, the sides open and then you bolt all these things together and then you have the uh, you have the design you know going into this box pack. So we also make these small you know study models so that we can show how the box packing can happen as a small flat box. And because volume is extremely critical when you do uh, transportation so it can become very expensive and 
uh, unaffordable if the volume is large. So I'm extremely happy that we have reached the final stage for a student project. The student graduated a couple of years back. It took us two years to reach this stage because we're not very consistent in work, but if we are consistent, we can do this while the student is on campus and creating this ecosystem of uh, pilot production, uh, mass production, and design for each of these things can uh, make uh, you know uh, products come to life.